ablations from Guinea's presidential election point to an increasingly tight race between a former prime minister and a long-time opposition leader. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has more. Results from districts representing nearly half of Guinea's registered voters show former Prime Minister Salu Jallo ahead of opposition politician Alpha Conde by fewer than 100,000 votes. Many of the first returns came from areas where Mr. Jallo was expected to do well. The race has tightened with the addition of results from districts where Mr. Conde has strong support, reducing Mr. Jallo's lead from about 60% of the vote to about 53% of the vote. Both campaigns are arguing the numbers of this race even before the final returns are announced because they know that in a close contest, eliminating results from even a handful of polling stations could make the difference between winning and losing. The biggest dispute centers on voting in Siguri and Kurusa, where thousands of members of Mr. Jallo's ethnic group were driven from their homes in pre-election violence. The Jallo campaign says it was unable to post representatives at all of those polling stations. The Conde campaign says the Electoral Commission guaranteed the ability of all displaced people to vote by opening special polling stations for them. There's frustration at the slow pace of results from Sunday's vote, and security forces are on alert to prevent further clashes. Electoral Commission results reporter Alhaji Karoma Fumba says officials want to be certain of the results they announce. It would be our wish is that every party accepts the results that will be published, but that does not mean that they do not have the right to contest them. Electoral Commission President Siaka Tumani Sangare says the commission has not responded to requests to annul the vote in Siguri and Kurosa because they've not yet examined those returns, and he promised to do so Friday. The goal now is to have a winner in this contest announced sometime before Monday morning. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Conakry.